Good morning, my beautiful people. It's Sherry Moulton back with a, bon a bonus video. Now, I uh, was trying to get a bunch of things lined up because I'm 100% sure I'll have to have a little bit of a surgery on this thing. So I thought I'd get some things in plan four when I was not able to do it. But um, this one's going to go out because I have a couple of... I've, one issue and one I want to mention. Um, when I did my 70,000 giveaway, um, it's been 21 days. It's been three weeks since I pulled all the names or drew the names. And I've only heard from three people. So I really don't know what to do, whether I wait another, I'm going to wait another week or two. Just put that out there. But I want to give another shout out. So, um, the people that I have not responded back to me is Janet Macari, um, Mary Lou Tomek Baker, Anna Luliano, and Pamela O. Four out of the seven people. So, if it was one or two, it would be fine. I just, but there's that many. So I'm going to repost them. I'll put the names in the description of this box. And I'm hoping I might hear from them. I hope. And also I wanted to give a big thank you, shout out to James. I want to make sure I get it right. James Colson. Thank you. Thank you very much for your PayPal donation. I am 100% sure I'd probably go to some glitter, <laughs> but thank you. And yeah, I wanted to show you, I, I went to um, Michael's online again, because we're still in lockdown. And I purchased some beads. I'm not making jewelry, but I purchased beads, which is hilarious. I was thinking of embedding them in my resin. I have these little wee um, glass ladybugs that I purchased when I was in um, a conference thing in Toronto when we were doing some bead stuff and these were the ladybugs but the one I have are tiny they're like a half of this so they're big they're the size of my thumbnail <laughs> so I'm not sure and the good thing with Michael's you can take these back right guys so I'm not sure because they were on for $5 a strand instead of 10 So I bought three of them, but I may return them. I'm going to have to see. And then I found these beads. I thought they would be cute to put into. Why is it not focusing? Get, get out of me. Get off me. Get off me. Focus on this. There you go. I'm going to move to the side. Bumblebees. So I bought two of the bumblebees and then I've used these. I've made a lot of um, jewelry. I live near a, a, a reserve, so I have a lot of um, these turtles and I did a lot of jewelry with these turtles. So I thought these would be cute even to lay in my beach, on the beach, in my beach things. And then they had these. I've never seen these ones before. Mermaid tails with a bead that has scales i'm hoping this comes up let me let me do this you might see it a little better like look at that it has actual scales on the bead and then the little bead in between is um a seashell now you take the nippers i've got where is it you take your nippers and you cut, you just snip off the little loops. Easy peasy. I thought these would be cute too. So yeah, so that was my little bit of a haul. And of course I ran out of my, my glue. So I got that. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you enjoyed um, my video with Tish's amazing idea. This thing turned out pretty cool. So anyways, so with that being said, I am trying something. I have seen, I want to 
get the name right. Okay, so I'm going to bring up here. I've been watching and I've tried balloon smashes before. It kind of worked, kind of not. So I was upstairs having my coffee and um, this amazing Australian lady keeps popping up. And actually she did a shout out for me. She tried my bling blings. Um, I want to get it right. So I have to, <laughs> I have to find her name. <laughs> ah, bear with me. Bear with me. Gilly Coobs. Cubs? Gilly Cubs from Australia. So I'm going to try the balloon smash she does with the, the lovely, because that was kind of sort of my inspiration when I did um, my black, and it's not there, my black um, offset where I did the wisps. So that was kind of the idea I got the wisps. But I'm going to try to do her um, swipe on the bottom and then do those beautiful wisps up and then do balloon smashes. And, okay, you ready for this? I'm gonna swipe with my iridescent blue, iridescent green, yellow. So I'm gonna have it white on the top. I'm gonna swipe with that green because we want the green for the, the uh, so I'm gonna try that. Hopefully it works. You're gonna be with me, good or bad. So, and I'm just gonna actually, I'm not mixing up any different um, paints. I'm just gonna use my Dutch pour mix because I've done it with the Dutch pour mix, but I think the clue is I didn't let the paint sit for a little bit. So we're gonna try that. So I'm gonna mix up my stuff and I will be right back guys. Hello, we are back. I have been busy. I ran out of my Dutch pour mix and I bought my new white ones the other day. So I mixed four up of these bottles, some more of my squirt bottle. And I never had the hardest time in my life blowing up a balloon. I couldn't tie the darn thing. And I don't know if you pay attention in my videos, but my family likes to sleep in till like one or two in the afternoon most of the times. So I'm home alone, basically, for the first five hours I'm awake. So that's why I get chatty. <laughs> in my videos. So I've got a 14 by 14 inch canvas. I'm going to try, I've got a taped and push pinned. I'm just going to try small one because if what I want to attempt, cause I'm taking yours. I hope I do it justice, Jilly. I, cause I've done these before. I've tried before, not exactly like yours, but I've tried them before and I couldn't get the balloon smashy to work. So I'm thinking it's because I did not leave the paint sit for a little bit. That was a big clue. So I've got three balloons. I was cleaning up and I couldn't find balloons, but I found some. So I have three. I've got one that's blowing up a little bit. So you may have a little bit of a different type of a smash. One that's a little bit more and then the big, the big guns. So I'm going to try, my heater keeps blowing them around. So I'm going to try and put them over here where they're not going to go away on me. And again, I used my sticks to measure. Oh my goodness. Thank you, crystal resin. That I just, that's a game changer. Alrighty, let's go. So we are going to do half of the canvas with my, this is my Dutch pour. Oh, let's get it out. Cause I had to get another jar. Let me get a Sharpie. If I can write, I'm having issues writing this thumb. So Dutch pour. And why buy a bottle when you've got these? Right? There we go. So I'm going to have half the canvas with this. I, well, I don't know if you can see my trolley. Here, I'll lift you up a minute. These are all my colors. Oops, and I have a second layer that has all of my um, glam dust and my um, shifting colored paints. So we're gonna pick a bunch of bright, and I mean bright, Sherry likes color. So we're gonna do some bright colors. And she swipes with white. I'm swiping with 
Pepito Studio iridescent green yellow. Oh my goodness. You guys are in for a treat on Friday. I tell you, I make sure. Oh, it's because I turn. I'm like, I, I'm not in here. Okay, I'm going to bring you back down and we're going to go through some colors. I'm like, why are she, why are you not in my video? It's great. So I'm going to swipe with this. So I'm hoping it'll be like the grass. We'll see. Maybe, maybe not. And like I said, I love um, trying other people's things, but I love to put my own twist on it. So we're going to go some bright colors. We've got some Liquid X Heavy Body Quadrocentrone Magenta. We will use that. We will use... Um, I don't want to use green, but we might use this yellow. Liquid X Basics Bright Cadmium Yellow with Iridescent Medium. We will throw in the Pebio Studio um, Orange Yellow. We will do Folk Art Metallics Rose Shimmer. I'm just picking out some nice bright pop colors. We're going to do Pebio Studio Iridescent Violet Blue. Um, let's do... Um, I probably shouldn't be doing all metallic, so I'm going to try and do... We're going to do a pinky theme. This is the Folk Art Brilliant Pink. It's going to be all messed up down here. So let's do some Liquid X Basics Deoxide Purple with Iridescent Medium. We will do Modern Masters Metallic Amethyst. Um... Another one, Pebio Studio Transparent Vermilion with Iridescent Medium. Let's do the Grum Brockers Turquoise Green. I'm just putting all kinds of colors in here because the more color, when you do that smash, I'm thinking it's going to come up. I have, I'm wondering if I've, oh my goodness, that's hilarious. The lid. The plastic lid is broken. Let me just quickly try and get this. You never seen it. Shh. I have a little one down here. Let me see what it is. I've got, because when I mixed up. Okay, we'll use this one. This is Extreme Sheen Garnet. In my little container. And this one is Deco Art Metallic Berry. I'm gonna give it a good shake away from the canvas. Hopefully it don't go all over my black and silver bling bling on behind me. But there we go, that's shaken up. Do you think we have enough colors, guys? Or do I do, let's do a bright red. This one is Grumbrocker Alzarian Crimson. And we'll do one more little light green, we will do um, Liquid X Basics Bright Aqua Green with Iridescent Medium. I think we may have enough colors. I want to get a blue in here because I took the, but I don't want it to be. We'll do the Grumbrockers Thalo Blue in there. All right. All right, I think. Do you think we got enough, guys? Maybe we'll do. <laughs> My name is Sherry. I am an addict. Okay, we will do this one. Deco Art uh, Peacock Blue. Okay, you guys, my bling bling peeps will love this story. So yesterday, I went to um, because I have a workplace injury. I have a, a bummed up shoulder from work. And I had to go and do some therapy yesterday and it was a massage therapist and hilarious. So I'm on the table. It's gonna be clean guys. Okay, I'm on the table. And she's like, oh my goodness, sweetheart, you have a piece of glitter on your arm. And I just kind of chuckled and went, oh, okay. She goes, I'll take it off for you. And I went, perfect, thank you very much. So then, um, 
it was quite humorous. I, I went to get up after everything was said and done. I got up and went to, you know, put my stuff back on. And I'm like, there's glitter on the bed. There's glitter on the pillow. There's glitter on the chair where my clothes were sitting. There was glitter on the floor. So I'm like, oh my God. And because of COVID, you've got to clean everything. So I'm thinking, she's not going to want me to come back unless I de-glitter before I go. And I had two baths after I did my bling bling because I had glitter everywhere. So I thought it was quite humorous. I figured you guys would quite enjoy that little story. I thought it was funny. All right, we're gonna just open up and I'm just gonna do just squiggle lines down here. And hopefully my arm works with me. Hopefully the hand works. And this, um, Jilly's got her own mix. I am just using my Dutch pour mix. I've opted to, if it works, and maybe I can play around, but it's so hard. I think you're on the boat with me, mixing up all these different products when it's, yeah, you get this one for that one and this mix for that one. So I'm, I'm a big advocate. I try to, um, use up what I can do with what I have because it's, it's, it's hard. It gets expensive too. All right, my Pebio. Whoop. Put the lids on. Um, ooh, I, this is a pretty one. I love all of the Peblio iridescence, if you have not already noticed. This one is the orange yellow. That would be a pretty color in there. Whoops. Um, let's get the Grumbrockers Thalo Blue. I'm going to go a little bit light with that one because it's, it's quite a dark color. Let's do the Liquid X Heavy Body Quadra Centrone. Oh, we got a little bubble on there. We'll start down here. Um, let's do some bright yellow. I've got this bright cadmium yellow with iridescent medium, Liquid X Basics. A little bit of sunshine, guys, on a cloudy day. It's a cloudy day today. I'm going to put in my, this one, I'm going to take the lid off. I've lost the cap to these amazing little bottles. I'm just going to drizzle. This one is uh, Liquid X Basics Deoxine Purple with Iridescent Medium. This Pebio Studio Transparent Vermilion with Iridescent Medium. Just a bunch of different colors because you want it. It looks messy, but it'll be pretty in the end. I'm hoping. Let's get this um, Folk Art Metallic Rose Shimmer. I don't know, Jilly, if I got more too much in here, I may. I'm going to do the Liquid X Bright Aqua. That uh, Grumbrocker really took over there, so I'm hoping we can. I might come back with a different color in there. Um, let's do this uh, Folk Art Brilliant Pink. We're putting it all in. I pulled them out. I'm using them. So, Modern Masters Metallic Amethyst. That is such an amazing paint. I'm just, I, uh, oh, I don't know if you remembered me saying, but it wasn't on the list when I was trying to look for it at uh, Michael's the other day. Deco Arts Metallics Berry. Ah, a little, little. Sorry, I was putting it in my mouth to open it up. 
which is what I have to do when I have these little tips on there. There we go. And I know I have this one in my tubs, but I'm going to grab a stir stick because I don't want it to be. Oh, and look what I have here. Oh, my goodness. We're just going to drizzle some of this on there. All right, do you think we have enough paint? I think we have enough paint. This may be an epic fail, but I'm going to attempt. Um, I want to rub this off because I don't want this to get into the white. And let's get the paint going. trying to think which side and there's no you can see oh good there's no here I'll bring it back this way so you can actually see what I'm doing there's no um I don't have anything in my paints as far as cell activating I I hate I'm just gonna put a little bit more paint on the edging I hate I'm gonna get probably people hating me for saying it, but I do not like working with the silicone because it's just an extra step to clean up. That's my personal opinion. Don't hate the, don't hate me, hate me for it. There we go. Let's just see if that'll help make it flow a little bit better. The edging. I don't want all this beautiful stuff on the top to go away. But I do want the edges covered. All right. Perfect. Let me just. Too funny. I'm painting in my jammies today. It's an actual, <laughs> it's a, it's a short romper, but I, I, uh, it's so comfortable. I tend to wear it as my pajamas. <laughs> All right, there we go. We have our beautiful, it looks a little, um, chaotic at the moment. I'm hoping it changes. I just want to get all the edges down here because I don't want to play with it once I, I do my swipe. All right, let's get this to the edge. Perfecto, guys. You're gonna get a big list of paint colors. All right, I'm gonna pour my white on the top. Whoop, bruiser. got so that I'm using my um, blow dryer with my Dutch pours anymore and I love it but I'm gonna use this to kind of spread this out now the only thing I could see being an issue is that her paint is probably quite a bit thicker than mine so I'm just gonna push it down in And I'm going to bring up a little bit of color here to even it out. And I don't want it to be a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow. Because this is what you're going to blow up into, right? So I wanted to make sure that I've got... Oh my goodness. 
orange. And then let's just see if we can not muddy it, but I don't want it to be one. There we go. Best tools ever, your fingers, your fingers. All right. Um, I'm going to use this bottle and I'm going to want to do this just to get all of Perfect. I think we're good with that. This is this was just my Dutch pour mix. I love putting it in a squeeze bottle as well. Alrighty, let me get my torch out. So we got some bubbles up here we want to get rid of. And I don't know if I did too much of a top, but we're going to try and maybe tilt it up a little. Right. Now I noticed that she was using, which is quite humorous, I have those same straws all the way here in Canada and she's in Australia, so that's kind of cute. But I have my, this is um, just a silicone or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> um, hosing for your house. When you go to do your line for your fridge, when you go to do, it's a pliable silicone, you buy it by the yard or by the foot. Awesome, because you can bend around. I have it in huge sizes, so if I need to get somewhere where I don't want my upper half of my body into the paint, that works perfect. All right, here we go. Let's see what I can do. <sighs> Wish me luck. Oh my gosh, that one's pretty. I want to come down here because I don't, um, I don't want all of that to be the turquoise. So I'm just going to do this. Maybe see if that'll work. I'm actually, I'm going to put some more color here. I don't want it all to be turquoise. That's my only thing. I might do a pop of yellow in here. And let's do um, this bright red here. And let's see what that does, because I would prefer to have, like, it's all kind of turquoise there, and I don't want that. All right, here we go, guys. There. Let me just fix this one. Perfect. Okay, I'm excited now. Alrighty. This is where it's going to get a little crazy. I'm going to turn it because with me, I have to do things where I can be even. So I'm going to try and do this here. May not work. 
Wish me luck, guys. This is Pebbio Studio Iridescent Green Yellow, if I have not said it yet already. And I'm going to do another one halfway. Going to get, I'm just using my paper towel, which is what I would normally do my swipes with, but I'm going to cut it because I don't want to cut into what I'm doing here. So I'm going to cut it down. Oh my goodness. Me and scissors don't work right now because of the fact that my thumb hurts. <gasps> oh, okay. Anyways, we're going to try this and see if it works. Oh, that side's better. Okay, I'm going to give it a little bit of water. And where is it? I like to use a little bit of water on mine so that it sticks. This is just water with my squirt bottle. I'm hoping you can see me. Yes, okay. Oh my goodness. There we go. Just a tad. I like to accordion. So you have a little bit more control. And let's go. I'm excited. Scared, excited. All at the same time. Let's get it on there and make sure it is attached. And here we go. Second blend. Oh my goodness, guys. Let me just tilt it this way. Oh, I don't want to mess this up though. Okay. I'm going to put a little more green there. And make, whoops, the doozers. Maybe try it again. Oh, I don't want to mess it up now. That's actually coming up pretty good. You know what? I'm just going to... Oh, my goodness, Sherry. I shouldn't have done that. Balloon smash down there. Perfect. That's... See, you can't be so rigid with your artwork, guys. That is awesome. I'm just letting it come up. So now what I'm going to do while that's doing its thing, I'm going to grab a skewer and I'm going to turn you this way. Look, and you can actually see my... And we're going to just come up and bring some... Shift it back. There we go.
I just love these wispy things. Ah, uh, I'm love putting them in amongst my Dutch pours as well when you get doing some things. I just want to make sure they all have some little... There, I think that's good. I'm tempted to put a little bit of the green on this side and try and do a swipe that way. And again, there's a lot of paint. A lot of paint, my friends. I'm just gonna tap this together so it doesn't look like it's just a row. Okay. All right. Perfect size. Wet it a little bit. I find I like to wet it just because it adheres better onto the paint. And the accordion does this thing. She's got an amazing little tool, which is actually quite cool. That she made herself. I've tried to do it with the plastics and I've never had success. Here we go, guys. There, that's what I want. And I know there's gonna be a line here, but again, you fix it with all of our little balloon, or our little balloon things. All right, let's get the torch. Let's see what brings up. See, I love the Floetrol because you do not need silicone. If you've got Floetrol going on, where'd my little leg go? You do not need to put um, silicone because there's that chemical reaction. And look in your Dutch pores, guys. You're using your Dutch pores and certain paints react. So I'm thinking you, you have to have a good mixture of not metallic and metallic. Um, I tend to do over the metallics and I should try not to do as many of them. And I think you would get a, diff a better reaction with the cells. So I'm gonna take these up and wash them. Oh, I just, it's the best thing since, almost since sliced bread, guys. All right, I'm just gonna move my stuff away and I wanna clean up as I'm going so I'm not making a, a huge mess because if you've watched my channel, you can remember I am always messy. I try to clean up as I'm going, but as every painter knows, you get paint everywhere. Oh, everything stuck to me. So let's see. I'm just gonna grab a wet one to wipe my hands off. So I can, not like it's going to make a difference. I'm excited. This is actually, <laughs> I'm glad I was upstairs. You came up on my feed, Julie, Julie, and very nice. I'm excited. So I'm going to leave this sit for a minute, do its thing on this side. And actually, I probably, I think would have been actually quite cool is if I had that green line. Next time, I've, if this turns out, which I think it's probably going to, if I can just keep myself from trying to hit the balloons right away, um, I'm going to try it with, I'm going to do all of this aspect and then put my line here and pull down that way. That is going to be my next one because the green line will be on the top and I think that would be actually quite cool. Alrighty, so those are cleaned. I'm just gabbing, trying to fill in time 
waiting for a second or two. I'm going to bring it back so I can see what I'm uh, trying to do. Not like that really matters. I lost the lid to my little thing. All right. Let me try one. I just don't want to touch it down here. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm going to try my little guy I made. And she's got this. She, you got it down, Jelly. Put it between your things so you have enough that you can uh, control. All right. Here we go. Let's see if we can do it on the side. No. So that means my paint needs to sit. So I'm going to, I'll put you on pause. I'm going to set my phone for a timer. We're going to do 30 minutes and I will come back. Actually, no, I'll do 15 minutes and then I will come back. It's just my paint is so much more um, runnier than hers. So I'm not sure if that was, well, it will affect actually, but how much will it affect? So I'm going to put you on pause. I'll be back in about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, and we'll see if we can do some smashes. I'll be back, guys. Hello, I've come back. Actually, it's been 25 minutes, and it stayed here. I did one here. It didn't quite take, but it wouldn't stay in the white. So I'm going to try. I'm going to wipe this off. We're going to do one more because it stayed here. And this one has been set for a little bit compared to this one. So I'm going to try another one here. And I'm going to try it up here again. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Am I doing it? <sighs> Let me just... I'm thinking I, I, uh, messing it up here. Let's try it again. Yeah, it's because the paint is still quite thick there. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to put a little bit of white in the middle. Oh, maybe what I'll do is I'll just take some white that's here. You can always fix everything, guys. And I've pushed a bit too hard. So I'm going to, because you can see the canvas. And bring the paint back in the center there we go okay I'm gonna leave it for another there's so much white on there I'm tempted to maybe scrape some let me just see if I can scrape some and it'll even out right it's gonna pull from another area Bring it in, bring it up from down here. Okay, I'm gonna leave it again. I'm gonna come back in about 20 minutes. So that will be uh, 40 minutes altogether. So I'll be back guys. Hello, I left it for another 20 minutes and I have so much white paint up here I scraped a little bit here and I'm getting what I want so I'm just gonna do this I'm gonna scrape and bring up some from down here I 
I tried to do one there. Let me just scrape off that color. All right. Maybe what I'll do. So note to self, next time, do not go crazy with the white. I'm just going to use this to kind of bring it back in so that there's color, white there. And I know you guys are all probably cringing. Actually, I'm just going to use my finger. I don't care if there's a lot down here because that's not where I want to put the flowers, right? My little kisses. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm just gonna have to wipe my hand off here. Because I was getting what I wanted kind of down here, but it's just, I didn't want to Just kind of spread it out a little bit. And wherever it's really, really messy, I'll try and put a flower. Okay, let me get my torch out. Let me just kind of see if that'll, with warming that up a little bit, it will even out that. All right, let's try this again. I'm just gonna clean it off and let's go where there's some nice colors right here. Oh, why? Let's go over here. Yeah, see, I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe this is what I need to do, is do this. <laughs> and it'll lift the paint. I don't know. It works so well there. And I, yeah, I think that's what the issue is. So I'm gonna... Whether it be, maybe I'm pressing too hard. I don't know, we'll try a different balloon. All that color there. Let's try over here. Yeah, see, I'm not, is it because I'm not pressing hard enough? I'm afraid when I go over to the white. Okay, let's do this again, because it did come here. Tap it in. Okay. Let's go down here where there's some pretty color. Ah! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I might just, oh. Let me just get my little straw. Where'd I put it? Here. And I'm just gonna tap in here. I'm trying. I'm trying awful hard. So you know this is a tech this is a skill, my friends. <laughs> uh, okay. Hmm.
try it again. I just don't want to mess it up. See, I don't know what I'm doing. But you know what? That looks okay. I'm going to leave it. Let's go here on the edge. Am I expecting too much? You know, because those actually don't look bad. Maybe my out, my expectations are a little bit more than what I'm wanting. Okay, let's go down here where there's some. Ooh, I pressed too hard. Actually, I let. I, actually, you know what? I've got it. It's working. But I pressed too hard down here. I'm just gonna tap because I've got raw canvas, and we don't want that. Okay. Let's come back. I'm gonna go back to the little one now that I know. Not that I ever really, really know what I'm doing, but sort of. I don't want to stay from away from here because that looks actually really funky. Maybe I'll do, because I love the colors. Another one here. And then here. Yeah, no. Is that what it is, guys? It's just you don't press so, so much? I don't know. It's going to come down here because I want to get some color. And do another one. Try one here. I'm gonna keep doing some smashes in here and I think I'm done on the top. I like kind of what I'm seeing now. But I'm gonna do, where it's kind of muddy here, I'm gonna do some more. Maybe I'll do one more up here if I can. gonna I don't want to goof up the cells in here but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do along the edging of here because I want it to and whether or not I put it up here we'll see I want to do the whole edge of the and I'm just gonna wipe it off because I don't want to put any more on the top but I like the idea of um, making this line a little nicer. Especially with all those colors that I've put in there. And the colors that probably made all of this a little bit muddy. And one more there. And one more here just to 
tied everything in and one over here. Oh, that one was a mistake. Okay, let me just got some white here. I'm just gonna there. Try another one down here, maybe. See if it pops up. If it don't, then that's fine. Because I actually, I think this is quite cool. I'm gonna leave it, guys. I'm gonna leave it. This is my first, and I think the next time I will do less of this and more of that white. I'm gonna flip it so you can see it. I'm an, actually not too, I'm, I'm impressed actually. This here needs to be, oh no, my finger was in the white. We need to tap some paint back in there. It's a raw canvas. Alrighty, well there you go. I hope you enjoyed today's bonus video and thank you, um, Jaleef, for letting me attempt your amazing balloon smashes because I've never been able to make them work and I think sitting letting them sit is the key and next time I do it I'm thinking I'm gonna swipe that way because I think that might be the coolest thing so yes you will see another one popping up on your tv screen soon because I'm gonna try this on a bigger version because I think it'd be pretty. So I'm gonna take you off the camera stand and I'm gonna bring you down for a close up because the colors are pretty awesome. All right, I'll be right back guys. Okay, we are back. I am down for the close up. This was beautiful until, until I think I did the second swipe this way because it made this area quite a bit muddy so lesson learned but I love like look at the colors in there so I will be doing this again and I think they turned out let me know guys because I less paint on the top because I was just flowing it like a Dutch pour so you want not as heavy on the top and plus again I'm using my Dutch pour mix. So um, Jilly is using hers is um, glue and water and paint. So with that glue, it makes it such a thick, thick, thicker paint than what I have. So that also is probably part of the issue as well. So I hope you enjoyed your bonus video. And again, I would love to thank, love to thank, um, James Colson for your PayPal donation. And also, please, if you are a winner, you need to get a hold of me. I will link the people in the description box that have not responded back to me. But I'm going to give you till we'll do one full month because it's already been three weeks. So one full month. And if I haven't heard, I'm probably going to do a repick on that original video of the giveaway. So with that being said, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, why have you not? Please do. You get to have some fun experiments with Sherry and you know, some chit chats. And with that being said, hit the bell for notifications. And also, um, just double check if you are subscribed because sometimes you, get unsubscribed not by you but sometimes YouTube boots you back off I don't know why so do that and also in my description box I have the link to my Facebook page where you could share your art I have a link to my Amazon shops I also have a link 
to um, Laura's Art Corner. If you want to use my discount code, um, all capital letters, Sherry Moulton 10%, and you get 10% off of my your whole entire order. And her glitters are amazing. Um, also, I have the link to uh, Crystal Resin. If you want to give them out, give them a shout out, go take a look at their website. A lot of stuff on sale right now. Also, and I'm putting the description box, the link to the lovely, the lovely Jillian Cubs, Cubs from Australia. I'll put her link in there, which I'm pretty sure you've already seen it before because this stuff is beautiful. So with that being said, my long-winded exit, I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.